Hey, what's up guys? Alright, here we are again. Alright, today marks a very epic move by Cody to change its default look. And what they've done is... Ta -da 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 drum roll please. This is called Estuary. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Estuary. And if you Google that, I think it's something like heaven or something. You know how these Cody um, code names are. Cody code names. That sounds interesting. Anyway, you know how they are. So basically, um, this will be Cody's new default skin. No more confluence. So all of those persons like myself who love their confluence, this is that will basically it's the end of it from now on. Not that you can't use your Confluence. If you have an older version of Cody, you can. This is actually Cody's new build, which is called Krypton. And from its Confluence is not backward compatible, but it can be used with Krypton going forward. So this is what it is. So we are here to see, is it that cool? What has changed? How good is it? Is it better than Confluence? Because Confluence is less confusing. Um, because... Over the years, Cody has had many, many skins, and not all of them are that great. But this is supposed to be the new default good stuff, and it's called Estuary. All right, first off the bat, what are we looking at? We're looking at my movie section. What you can see is just loading it up, you start to see your movie section right off the bat. So therefore, you don't. It, what they, what, what the, the folks who created say, created this say, they have moved the, the need for it to be behind folders. No longer is your movies hidden behind folders. So it's right in front of you. So you can impress whoever comes over to your house that doesn't have Cody. <laughs> and that's a lot of persons, right? So you can let's get into the movies section. So we're in the movies section. We see these are my movies or collection that I could actually find. And we can see that you have your info wall. You have your wall. The regular. We have your fan art, which is not coming up here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Mine comes up. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Wonderful stuff. And we have your list view, um, that's pretty familiar, and your poster view, which is also familiar, and your shift, which is, I don't remember ever seeing this on Confluence, please tell me if it was ever on it, but this is a good addition if it is, because all you do is just shift, 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 and at the top, obviously, is your... Um, movie information and your genre, director, the good stuff, and below it, it's the name. Cool. That's our cool look. So, what what else is there apart from the cool look? What you notice off the bat as well is that you're able to search and sort your movies right from the get go. You're able to search by years, search by movie sets, search by genres. Search by actors, search by tags, search by, well, I don't think that's a search. I think that's just your library route. <laughs> so let's just say if I'm deciding I want to search by, hmm, let's see. Hmm. All right, genres. Oh, I got me my action, my adventure, my animation. I don't know if I have an animation movie, but let's just see if I have one. Yes, we do have one, and we have Corpse Bride and Shrek. Forever, forever after. Whoa, interesting stuff. So, right now, that takes away a lot of pain in terms of searching for your information. It used to be way more expert-oriented, expert and now you can search for it easy, e easily. I would say easier, but let's just say easily. And that's wonderful. Same thing for your TV show section, which I don't have any TV shows listed, and I don't have any movie section, a movie, uh, music listed in my, 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 my section here. So, but what it does, it not only replaces Confluence, but it adds a lot of functionality, a lot of functionality along with this interface. And it's designed, as you can see, to give you a quicker start at getting what you want. 
All right, first let's look over at our add-on section, which is the big thing for me. All right, so I already preloaded some of my add-ons, which is my one channel, my Genesis. Not all of the good stuff, but some of the good stuff. You see up here, this little box thingy here that says add-on browser. You click that, and you see you have my add-ons, which is a list of add-ons you already have. That's why it's called my add-ons because it's yours. And then you can install from repository. Whoa, makes life easier if you have your repository listed. And you can also install from a zip file. And you can also search. Um, let's just say I'm searching for a repository. I'm uh, searching for add-on called pigs. Don't know if there's a pigs add-on, but let's just see. Um, should say bacon, but hey, let's just see how that works. <laughs> I doubt it. Nope, there's none. <laughs> Just like I thought there wasn't. What, however, though, one of the things you will notice once you get down into this estuary um, skin is that it makes it a little bit more difficult or tedious for you to add add-ons. And this is done intentionally. It's one of those things they don't tell you out of the box, but after using it, you realize, wow, it's going to take a little work around to actually add some, some third-party um, add-ons. And that's due to the fact that most of the, the, the creators of Kodi have been arguing that um, persons who create third-party add-ons add sometimes allow piracy and not only that they allow piracy sometimes but the piracy the, the causes the um coding to get a, rap, a bad rap and sometimes it breaks your actual coding installation so what they've done is to make it more difficult for you to add on um i would say unapproved add-ons you still can do it it's not that it limits you totally from doing it but what it does is makes it more difficult for you to do so i don't think it's cool really because i think you should have the 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 easier opportunity to add whatever you think you want to add to your installation of Kodi. i don't like that control mechanism that they have now built into it it takes a, a little work around to be able to add it but you still can all right they have now added um the ability to remove sections you don't want like this one because i don't have any pictures i don't see why it's even there so when you when you go at it on it sometimes bear in mind guys this is the development build everything will not work the way you want it so don't use this as oh mine will always look like this this is the development build so therefore there will be bugs because when you come on pictures what you normally see are some sections that are empty is the ability to remove that entire section which for some intents and purposes it's not showing no i don't know why but it's just not showing it but it did show it before trust me i'm not i won't lie to you ah there it is music you see enter file selection and you say remove this main menu item so i'm going to remove it because i have no music good and look over here Ta da it's moved <laughs> no longer is it there obstructing our views of our movies and tv shows which i have none of and you that's how it is you just remove it no what about the the settings the settings have all been put under this nice little widget thing here this little wrench thing when you click on it i think that's our wrench you get all your settings you have media sources appearances which have your your, your theme appearances you have videos you have that movie music section that i removed and you have your general system settings and let's go into that what you start finding out is a slim down version of how miserable and painful your 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 um your code settings used to be mine is now an expert if i put it on let's just say oh hold on let let me just say i put it on simple should come on ah basic yes what you see is it this is what it looks like when you just get it very simple to navigate you don't see any complicated settings that will cause your head to hurt so that's what it is basic easy to get along with 
um, sections. So pretty much that's how it is. That's what they've tried to do. Make it a lot simpler for persons just getting into coding. And it's sometimes they say it's more simpler to add add-ons from a repo. Yes, it is more simpler to add add-ons from a repo, but believe me, to get the repo on it, that's going to be another story. So let's just say I'm clicking on media sources and looking through video. Okay, you can add your sources, your media sources like that. Let's say still getting used to it, guys. So um, what you can do is add stuff to your library easier. You can actually update that straight off the bat. You can see that you can update your 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 library right there from your home screen, which is a plus, definitely big plus. Definitely, you don't have to go behind any secret folder and oh my god, it was miserable under the regular coding. And if you guys are still using it, you know what I'm talking about. It's miserable. If you are a novice, it is painful. And okay, so let's go back to our add-on browser now. So we're in our add-on section going to the browser. Uh, see, install from repository. See, way simpler. You just click that. And I have some repositories here, so you can, you know, add from all of those. I have Mucky, Ducks re Repo, not quite sure what's in there. I just add some of them. <laughs> not quite sure why I did that. But that's just pretty much how it is. So let's just see one of the killer features that I really like. And let's just get over to our movie section. And let me show you one of the things I failed to mention before. Alright, so let's navigate over to our movie section and I'll show you one of the killer features. And I, I left this one for last because it is the killer feature. Let's just say we're in our movie section. Let's change our view. Hold on, let's get back here and let's change our view this is kind of difficult to navigate because it is as i said a development build so therefore everything doesn't work the way you want it to so all right back to our movie section trying to change my view here all right changing view view come on view okay there it is changing view so let's just say we're in our info wall all right one of the cool things about the info wall is under the estuary is that you can just go for information and then yep that looks regular you can say oh that looks so regular but you will now have the extended movie info built into this view it's not only in this view but it's easier to access from this view extended info is definitely the one of the best add-ons you can ever have on Kodi. Um, for those guys who don't know how know what it is and how it works, have to do a video on that. But let's just show you how it works in Essuary. You click on Extended View. Uh huh. Takes a while to load up, but it does. Still waiting on mine. Okay, there it is. Coming up. Coming up, ah, there it is. And now we're looking at Adventureland. And what you can find, you get extended information on your movie. So let's just say um, this guy here, Jesse Eisenberg. No, no, yeah, I think I'm pronouncing this guy's name right. And don't, don't, don't nag me if I don't know who De Jesse Eisenberg is. I know who he is. Leave me alone. There he is. All right. You get information including some of the movies he's been in. All of the good stuff. This is wow. And you can literally track him in down to other movies. And in fact, you can actually get um, recommendations from this thing if used correctly. Uh, to find out some movies you probably haven't seen yet and you probably want to watch. Alright, mine's a lot buggy. So, um, let me see if I can. As I said, this is the development build. Don't recommend it. <laughs> but you get the idea of what it is. So you can just literally go down into all of this stuff. If this is your favorite actor, you can find him. Just like that, from that information screen. So... Let's just see who else we can find. Let's go back here. And let's just say, um, mm, let's say the change up. 
Okay, I don't have this in my library right now, but that don't mean I can't get the information. So let's click on information again. All right. And let's just say, hmm, you could get your trailers in this. You can even add your own rating and you could even click on show fan art. And you see the fan art. Okay, guys. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Not YouTube friendly. Anyways, but you click on extended info again. And you get more information about this movie. Everything that you need to know about it. There it is. Even get some recommendation from, for uh, other movies you probably might like. So basically that is built, re really built. That add-on works perfectly well. I'm not going to say built into it. Because just clicking on it will let you download the extended info. Um, add on and when I say clicking on it I mean clicking on information and it gives you the ability to download that add on that makes estuary even better so my only gripe with estuary so far is the fact that it kind of makes adding third party add-ons a little bit more difficult there's a setting you'll have to click that allows you to um, to install from unknown sources which is kind of like if you, you you guys use um, Android it's kind of like that so I am not a big fan of that but I can see why the, the developers of Kodi would have put that in because really you have some guys who really make some painful brutal um, add-ons that break some person's installations of Kodi and give new users the, a bad a bad um, impression of what Cody is so I can see why they would put make it difficult for some persons to add um, um, install add-ons from untrusted sources but apart from that I like the slim down interface I like the fact that it's easier to navigate you don't have to be a pro to get started and to get the best out of um, Cody so to me, that's definitely a thumbs up. I will definitely be looking and waiting for this to hit um, um, full release because it's definitely not on full release. You can try it on their website and it's really bundled with their Krypton their Krypton um, release. So therefore, that's the default skin. No more Confluence, the death of Confluence. This is pretty much it. There's a lot more to SUR than what I've covered here. I definitely can't do the full review because I'm going through it myself. But this is like a first look at what it is, how it will affect your next Cody installation and your viewing and trust me it looks pretty cool the search thing up here I cannot speak on it enough it is cool it is really cool it's really cool it's not no longer hidden behind the 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 um the folders the wall of folders and folders and folders if what I don't like however is I haven't showed you in this video is the 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 video playing options have been slimmed down some people might like it I like to see a whole ton of options I like to feel like I'm in control yes I'm a control freak I like to know that I have buttons to push but you know it kind of not fascinating to me to only see two buttons or three buttons play forward rewind nah, nah, nah. I like to see buttons 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 <laughs> so they removed it because they probably hit me so that's how it is but guys that was SURA thanks for watching all of those persons who subscribe yeah seriously thank you guys um yeah mm. and I notice I don't introduce myself when I start off yeah people have been asking me that yeah I think people have been asking me that I will do that next time until then thank you guys for watching and if there's anything that comes up with estuary that I think I can address I will do so in the next video and if you have any questions that I can answer I'm definitely not the creator of estuary I will try my best to do so and thank you for watching guys okay